Kizzy from Blissful Beauty. I wanted to talk to y'all about sugaring. Um, I am constantly, constantly asked about it. What is sugaring? How long has it been around? What's the difference between sugar and wax? How often do I need to get it done? What length does it need to be? So I thought I would go ahead and talk, talk to you about that. I will start out with um, introducing myself. My name is Kinsey. I have been sugaring since 2010. I waxed for about two years before that, switched to sugar, haven't gone back because it's that awesome. Um, so let's touch on those questions. Hair needs to be about a fourth of an inch to about half an inch. You can sugar after four days, but you won't get as much, so it's better to wait at least a week and a half, week, two weeks, depending on your hair growth. Um, I personally like about a week and a half, so about a fourth of an inch. Um, the longer you've been doing it, the longer the hair, the shorter the hair can be. Um, so let's touch on the other questions. Um, sugar has been around since 80 times. It was brought to the professional market um, several, several years ago. It was in Canada, it was brought to the States, LA area, and then it's been brought to us. Um, sugaring is less painful than wax. Um, and the reason why is wax is a resin, so it's gonna take your living skin and your dead skin. Where sugar is natural, it dissolves water. Your living cells have water in them, so it doesn't hurt as bad. Now, it's also done different. Wax is put on the way the hair grows and pulled opposite, so you are more likely to get more ingrown hairs and bumps and broken hair. Where sugar goes on the opposite the way the hair grows and it's pulled the way the hair grows, so it gets a lot more root. I'm not saying it doesn't break hair. There's always a chance for that, but it's least likely to break as much. Um, sugar is a lot more sanitary than wax. If wax is done right, you're not supposed to double dip the stick, then you should be fine, but sugar actually encases bacteria. It doesn't spread it. They used to use sugar back in the war days. They pack wounds with it so because it doesn't spread bacteria and it would help keep the area clean. Fun fact. Um, and so that um, is part of the reason it's more sanitary. Um, now, as in how often do you need to get it done? It's recommended about every five weeks. I have some that come every four. I have some that come every six to eight. They've been doing it a while. Um, there are three different types of sugar, no, four in the company that I use. They have a really soft one, one that's a little tougher than that. They have a regular one that's kind of medium consistency and a hard one. Now, I typically use the softer ones, but I've been doing it for seven years now. Someone that's new is going to use the medium to the tougher type sugar. There's lots of different companies. I recommend going and getting training if you're a professional that wants to do it. Now, if you're doing it home, there are home recipes. You're more than likely going to end up with a really, really tough, tough sugar, and it's going to hurt really, really bad because it's a lot tougher. Um, you want something that's softer so it seeps into that hair follicle because that's what makes the difference. It seeps in the hair follicle and it pulls it off. So I'm gonna kinda show you a little bit about it, show you what the sugar looks like and show you how it's kinda done. I'm, I'm wearing gloves. Um, you have to wear gloves, if not your fingers get all stuck together. Um, and I've already cleaned my skin I spray it with the tonic and I put a drying powder on it because we do sweat a little bit. That's how our body reacts to pain. Yes, does it hurt? Yes, it's uncomfortable, but it's not as, un as uncomfortable as a wax would be. So I'm going to go ahead and get you some of my soft sugar so I can show you. The clearer it is, the more pure it is. Yes, it's kind of yellow, but um, yellowish clear. Um, if you have a colored one or one that is super dark, it's probably not as pure. If you're not supposed to have fragrances and stuff. Like, you remember NADS? NADS with sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. You, the light's kinda bright, but um, my hair's blonde too. So, I take the whole section. See? And you pull it with the way the hair grows and you wanna be parallel. because you mold it to the arm. And there's no hair there, my hair's blonde. Okay, so molding. Um, I just touched on that. Um, you are going to have your hands pretty much sitting like this, and you're gonna do it gently. You don't want to press into the arm that's hard on your hands and it's hard on your skin. You mold it about three times, and then you pull. Some people do too, I think I do too. Um, and it helps it soak in there a little bit better. Um, and as you can see, 
Um, my skin's a little red, but that's to kind of be expected. But this doesn't hurt to touch at all. Um, and it will probably grow back in about three weeks. My growth cycle is slower. The more you do it, the slower your growth cycle is. So some people may grow back in two weeks, some maybe three weeks. Um, that's why it's recommended about every five weeks to do because we have three different growth cycles. Um, so if you have any questions, please ask me. I would be more than happy to answer them. Um, other than that, y'all have a great day. Thank y'all.